Hi folks. Okay, so we're going to try and put our design, our final design that we're happy with of our flag into context. So we're going to be putting it in a digital context um, in front of the school. So the first thing you need to do is search for this website called Photopia. And it's basically free Photoshop online where it's got the majority of um, the access to Photoshop um, as possible. And you can also use it on your phone as well, so it's not just a desktop type um, type of website, so you can use your phone as well. So what you're going to need to do is open from computer. And you'll have this template here, which is a Photoshop file, that's why it's called PSD. Um, and I'll have this uploaded to Teams. So here we go, this is what it looks like. Um, you've got your little bit of a cutout of your flag, uh, of the flag template there, which you're going to put your design onto. Okay, and that'll give it a lot more uh, meaning and it'll be easier for you to get your head around it once you see it in context. So what we're going to do is go up to File and insert your image. But before you do so, make sure the image you take the photograph you take of your design is really clear and the best picture you can get. So try and make sure it's nice and straight. So you're going to go up to File and instead of Open, you're going to go to Open and Place and that is going to insert the your design into this image. So like basically on top of it. So I'm just going to scroll down and find the one I saved, which was one of yours. There it's there, I think this is Megan's. There we go. Okay, or Rajneet's. Um, right, so as we can see, it's not the right um, orientation. But if you can uh, move your cursor off, you can see the little curved arrows. So I'm going to click down and turn that around. Okay, and then I'm always going to click on the tick when I'm done. Okay, so you can see at the right hand side here that this is turned into a layer. So it's a layer on top of the background template. And if I move this around, that's one layer and I move this one around, that's another layer. So we need to make this a lot smaller to fit on the flagpole. So we're going to go up to a thing called edit and free transform. Now, you can see all the little boxes here. That's for you to stretch and shrink this image, um, like so. However, it kind of morphs um, the shape of this. So to make sure it stays that exact rectangle, hold down the shift key, and then you can make this smaller, like that. Let's get it in place. Okay, now, I'm kind of happy with that just now, just for the placement. We'll change the shape in a little second. So let's click the tick. Now, another thing is when you're taking pictures of a design, it's not necessarily going to be the brightest. So let's change the brightness and contrast of this image on the flag. So because we're clicked on the flag, we're going to change the brightness of just this, not the rest of the background, because we've not clicked on the background. So we'll go up to image and adjustments and then levels. Let's drag this over a wee bit. So you can see that there's a dark uh, dark side for the shadows and a light side for the brightness, and then in the middle is just to change the tone. So we're just gonna drag this in, make that a little bit brighter. Drag this in, make the colors stronger. Yeah. Okay, that will do for now. Okay, so okay. So now what we need to do is, because we've got the rest of the template peeking out the bottom, we need to morph this rectangle to shape the curve flowing flag shape because this needs to look a lot more natural rather than a basic flag rectangle. So we're going to go to edit, down to transform again, but instead of free transform, just transform on its own and go along to the right and click on warp. Now there's a lot more squares popped up here for you to stretch and shrink. So what we're going to do is hover over them. Where are we? Uh, 
and then you can stretch that down over over this one and stretch that down to the bottom do this corner here Stretch that down, that's kind of folded, isn't it? Like that. There we go, and here. My computer's been a little bit funny with sensitivity so bear with me here with this cursor there we go might lift this up a little bit because you want to see a little bit more of the flag even though it's curved not that one there Okay, and then we can bring the sides in as well. Like that. Okay, let's click the tick just to see what it looks like. It's looking a little bit better. It looks a little bit more natural now, but there's a little bit here peeking out. So I'm going to go back to transform and fix that. Transform warp. Okay, that's a bit better. Now, um, if you're happy with this and you don't want to go and change any more things, we're going to go up to File and down to Export As. And you're not, not Save As, you're exporting it as a JPG, which is a JPEG file. And that's basically a kind of normal image um, that you would get, a normal picture image. Let's click on that. And there you go. Looks great, and you can upload it to Teams for me. Okay, let's see how you get on.